totally not feeling it today. Totally not feeling it. I'm hoping that today's total wipeout was just a response to the vaccination booster yesterday. Kind of not sure what time I actually woke up. I was I got woken up by James leaving the flat and then I fell back asleep. And when I did woke up, wake up, I sort of stayed in bed for an hour listening to music and stuff. And I might have dozed back off again after that. So basically, I'm very well rested. And that's, that's all I've done today. However, I did get a delivery through the post today, which is this. Bias binding to put on the banner, the Christmas banner that I'm making. Now, the Christmas banner stuff I know I pre-recorded, I'm pretty sure I have included it in a previous day. But, where is it? It's green and red. It's got Scandinavian houses on it. I'm, my plan is to make it into a banner. However, this bias tape is incredibly thin once you but fold it over so I have no idea how I'm going to sew it on the edge of the banner because it is incredibly incredibly fiddly not one for tonight I think also in the order were a couple of zips for my project bags so I started off the project bags at some point last month and I still haven't finished them yet and I kind of need to because at the moment the sewing machine is set up on the um, table that we're going to be using for Christmas day dinner also, I remembered yesterday, I have fabric which I was going to make a Christmas tablecloth with. In fairness, I was going to make this tablecloth quite a few years ago and the fabric has been sitting in my stash and it was only back in October, November, James said, oh, you could make the tablecloth this year. It's like, fantastic. So there's that. And I've also bought fabric for a pair of Christmas pyjamas because for the last two or three years I've been looking for Christmas pyjamas, cannot find Christmas pyjamas and I've realised that Christmas Eve is Friday, today is Tuesday so I've not got long to make them and knowing me they won't be made in time so I really need to get sewing with my project bag so that my sewing machine is clear for these other two projects. Boom! Fabrics I have. First of all this very nice striped Scandi fabric which although it's gorgeous is going to be an absolute what not to get lined up it will be really obvious if i haven't um, and then on the inside of that i've got a really bright lime green which i think goes quite nicely and um, then we have this stocking fabric which is going to have red at the bottom because this strip of fabric is just not big enough lined inside with the gray then i have this christmas pudding material with brown at the bottom and then lined with this checkered fabric and then finally is this red star fabric which again is coming up slightly more orangey on camera than it is in real life um, I don't know what I'm going to do on the inside for that one but the thing is I dyed this denim dark green denim because I didn't think I was going to have enough of the red fabric but actually I do so I don't need the dark green denim at the bottom so I was looking just now and I was trying to work out would the dark green denim go with the Christmas puddings better than the brown fabric? And I honestly don't know. I think whichever one I do, ideally, would have Christmas puddings at the top, whatever colour at the bottom, and then a strip of red bias binding between the two. That is all my Christmassy fabric. trimmed my um, pudding fabric. I want to use the dyed denim because I think I prefer that to the brown fabric. However, I'm not sure there's enough. Denim, pudding fabric, perfunctory seam allowance, gap at the top. This is not going to work the way I want it to. So the options are either one, leave it as it is and make the bag slightly shorter which I don't really like the idea of Two, scrap that completely and use either the brown or the red fabric at the bottom or three really try and make things complicated for myself and put a strip of red fabric in between that and that 
And I'm going to have to think about that one while I cut some more fabric. Here's the next take up. This interfacing is new to me. Um, I bought it online from one of these cheap £1 places. It's not clear to me which side is the shiny side and which side is the non-shiny side. I've kind of tried to have a look at both. Um, and I've gone back to check just to make sure that I have got the right interfacing. And it does say very clearly, easy iron on interfacing. However, that way is not, I mean, there's maybe a tiny, tiny bit of stick, but not really that much. Yeah, genuinely not sure what I'm going to do because it looks like my iron-on interfacing is not ironing on and is not sticking the way I want it to or the way I would expect it to. Um, obviously, I don't want to try so hard that I end up with the interfacing stuck onto the iron because that would really be unhelpful. Um, so, yeah. This is the solution I have found. Um, short term fix. I have got strips of wonder wig which I've put on top of the interfacing to sort of fix it. Um, and then I will put the fabric on top and and iron it together like that. This is what the front side looks like. It's not an ideal solution, but it's the solution that I have come up with. Solution found for the second bag. Um, I'm holding my phone. I'm recording this because it's later at night and I just want to be quick in recording this and kind of getting on with stuff. So this wadding fabric here is from um, pillow protectors that we put out of use earlier this year. And I thought rather than fussing around and, and arguing with the um, interfacing, which doesn't seem to want to iron on, I would just make a squishy bag. So I've sewn the interfacing to the wadding which also stops the wadding layers of wadding falling apart um, and then I've put at the bottom a tiny little bit of wonder web so that the outside fabric will stick to the wadding um, and then I will just basically treat this as if it's just one bit of fabric rather than two or three all sewn and stuck together and hopefully that will work um, Basically, I chose to do that because A, I've got the wadding and it uses that up and B, I don't have any squashy quilted bags. Um, all of them have got stiff, stiff sides to them. So hopefully the two things together um, will make this quite a nice bag. So I have made a decision on this project bag. So the one on the left, my Scandi striped one, it's the right size. The one on the right these two bits of fabric together aren't the right size. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sew both of them onto this kind of strip of scrap fabric. The raw edges will be showing exactly as I've got it set up here. Then I'm going to make some red bias tape. Sew it right across here in a big red stripe. So that will then cover up the raw edges and hopefully when it comes to the edges, like the seams here I can move it and bodge it and whatever ever so slightly to make to make it look as if both sides have matched up with each other even if they haven't so yes a solution has been found bit of a long-winded one but it is a solution <laughs> done some sewing got to the point where the red bobbin ran out and I decided that that was the fates telling me time to go to bed which of course I haven't 
I've ended up sitting up watching Impropaganza videos, which you can see on the computer there. Nice on this. Yes, I'd had hoped to get all of the bags completed today. I haven't. It's fine. I'm happy with what I've done. I didn't want to rush and start doing it when I was tired and not paying attention and just messing everything up. I've already managed to mess up one set of um, overstitching, which I then had to undo and just not worth it. I'm going to go to bed now and hopefully I'm going to wake up in the morning with energy and feeling festive because I'm still really not feeding the whole Christmas in four days, three days, five days, however many days it is. I've lost count, but yeah, I'm just not feeling it, um, which is slightly worrying. So I am, um, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, good night's sleep tonight, I'll do it.